Alexa Fire TV off. Alexa Fire TV on. Hey you guys, so there it is. The amp's done. It's fully functional now for about a week. Uh, Straightwire sent the cables in for me. I got I received them last Saturday. And let's just go for a quick tour here as to what I've done. You can see the very thick, uh, 1 8 inch thick um, aluminum plates that my friend George up in Chicago uh, built for me. He did the, he did the chassis uh, man, uh, uh, manufacture for me. Uh, you can see the extruded aluminum corners. Uh, this thing is solid like a tank. Uh, he drilled and tapped uh, M3 uh, screw holes for me for all the standoffs. And I asked him to give me some space between the back panel and the actual uh, GAN amplifier boards. And again, these are the pre-assembled ones. These aren't the ones that I started hand building last year, which I'm going to finish one day, but you never know. But yeah, with that gap, unlike Leo's where it's a nice short bend, I mean, to me it doesn't really matter. But what you see here is the binding post that George ordered for me. I was a little skeptical about, you know, or him ordering them because I was fine with the ones I had on the prototype. But there was a method to his madness, whether he realized it or not, because these banana plugs that Straightwire sent me, uh, they're crimped uh, and a little bit of solder just for good luck on each of these each of these terminals. And they literally just push into the back these binding posts and they're supposed to be allen key screws which but once you put the pl put push these banana plugs in there's no wiggle room whatsoever so there's no need to put the allen key screws because it wouldn't fit anyways um, and then you can see i used uh leo's uh new trick xlr jacks um, all along the back here there's the trigger input circuit and where Leo has trigger circuits on each one of his boards. I actually didn't need them because I ordered this guy from Tom Christensen of uh, Neurochrome. That's his company up in uh, uh, Canada. And this thing, guys, blows away all those crappy Chinese soft starts that I'd been buying in the past. It's 170 bucks US. It's worth every fucking penny. I've blown through two of those cheap Chinese modules and they charge you for shipping. So it's like 70 bucks a pop with shipping. And this is nice and small. You notice there's no big, huge power relays because he's actually using triax to shut things down when uh, there's a voltage spike. And as you saw in my um, Alexa video there, I'm actually, it'll never exceed 40 volts anywhere on the board, even if there's ever a spike. And if there ever is a spike, this guy will catch it. And of course, Leo's got onboard protection here as well. Um, total capacitance again, you've got 15,000 microfarads on the onboard rectifiers that uh, Antec supplies you. That's the 1500 VA uh, transformer um, that I bought earlier this year. These are, this is a bank of 20,000 microfarad capacitors. Uh, two per voltage rail, so there's plus 40 volts here and minus 40 volts down here. So you got 40,000 plus 15,000, which gives us 55,000 plus, I think there's another 870 here, so about 56,000 microfarads of uh, capacitance for each voltage rail. And I put, uh, I had, again, this is from the old Bose EQs that I rebuilt uh, a few years back. Um, these are 100 nanofarad uh, sonic caps. It's, maybe it's overkill, but I had a little bit of hash noise that I could, I did, again, I don't have a oscilloscope, but I could put my ear up to the tweeters and all that 
and I had some hash noise that was coming through and these these guys killed it one for the plus rail one for the minus rail so it's, everything's perfectly balanced and George did an awesome job on the chassis the only thing I had to do was I had to redrill the holes for the feet um, because you couldn't get the um, the antic transformer uh, in place because the, the the stud would hit it um, I had to punch four holes for the antic transformer you can see the my Swiss cheese work here and you can sort of see where one of the feet are protruding so George had sent me these thick rubber feet which probably would have worked but I like the Vibropod stuff so I bought four Vibropods off of uh, Amazon for 25 bucks put them underneath and it gives it a nice low profile look when you put it on a table as you'll see in a couple of the other pictures and I'm super super happy with this Leo's amplifiers are kicking ass right now he's already converted past labs owners he's converted PS audio owners including myself he's can and now he's about to convert a John Curl JC1 uh, amplifier owner it, it's just it's it's just amazing that this module with these four GANFET chips makes so much beautiful noise you know the, the days of class A amplifiers and class A B amplifiers and tube amps are done I mean it's just these are neutral amplifiers what you put into them is what you're gonna get out okay there's no coloring there's no flavor there's no hardness there's no none of that shit I've said it a thousand times other people have said it in other reviews uh, Tom Martin did a very in-depth uh, review of Leo's Orchard uh, ultra amplifier I did my stuff last year um, adding the extra capacitors just gives you a little bit more junk in the trunk so you get a little more base heft you know and honestly I'm gonna start building these things for customers if they want them because Leo is not gonna do this whole transformer thing he's gonna stick with the switching supplies as as, he, as well he should because I'm still building the switching supplies for him for his customers and I'm not gonna stop but if anybody does want to do you know a special build I've still got two back panels um, in my stock. George can make new side panels for me and two more top panels and the front panel, which you'll see in a minute. So yeah, if anybody is interested in, in me building one of these for them, again, send me an e email at rajugsw at gmail.com. It'll be in the links below. Um, I'll get you pricing and what it'll cost you. Um, what will basically happen is I'll have the customer order and pay for the modules from Leo's website direct I'll have the customer order and pay for the Antec power supply direct same thing with Tom Christensen's soft start I will not ever use those Chinese ones again these are expensive but they're worth every damn penny you know and you can see my little wire there that goes back to the trigger that's how I make Alexa work because that trigger is connected to my Onkyo preamp which has the fire TV stick plugged in the back of it and that's how that works and I'm not gonna do this capacitor bank for anyone um, quite honestly the 5 inch height which I spec just clears the capacitor banks when you put the lid on so I've got some um, in, uh, dielectric or basically electric tape uh, tripled up both on here and on the lid so when I put the lid down it's not going to spark and fly I would prefer if a customer wants this done I would prefer getting two six-pack capacitor banks and basically I would use if they're gonna if they're just if they just want to use it as a stereo pair then yeah two of those purple boards with 12 capacitors you're good to go um, in the case of if somebody wants a multi-channel thing like this with five channels uh, we could do six if they needed it but I didn't need it and that extra hole worked out for the trigger so there was a method in my madness even George asked me he says if you're only running five channels what are you gonna do with the extra hole that's what I did and also for ventilation 
the top cover has no slots on it. So I'm running these things totally sealed box with just the two vent holes, meaning where the old binding posts used to be you know, or, or could be. And it's running, you'll see in other photos I'm going to post here, but it's about 104 degrees Fahrenheit, about 40 degrees Celsius. And I talked to Leo and he said, you could, I've been running it like that all, all day, all week uh, for eight hours, 12 hours on end without any issues. Um, so yeah, if customers want to do this with me, it'll be done through PayPal, right? There won't be any tricks. I'm not going to try to rip anybody off. I'm not going to scam anybody. You know, I'll be totally honest with you. Um, the only thing I would say is, okay, for the material from George, he'll set the price. I'll give the customer the price. And basically all you'd be paying me is the labor to do this and that we can work out through email. I don't want to talk about it here in the video because, you know. So yeah, anybody wants to do this with the transformer, we can do this. Uh, what's the difference between the transformer and the switching supplies? Weight. Uh, audio quality wise, maybe it's placebo, but I did a head-to-head uh, -head comparison between the, trans the toroidal and the, and, a, and the two switchers just running two channels on this and maybe a little more focus center it's really hard to say I mean I'd have to have other people you know be the judge on that because I wouldn't trust my words on it to you guys so for those that want the switching supplies that don't want to lift a 40 pound box please order from Leo's website Leo will um, send me the uh, the person's address I build them like I always do, and I ship them out. But if anybody wants this big old, big old toroidal, just because they can still lift 40 pound amplifiers, send me an email, we'll work something out. Again, sounds phenomenal. I'm just absolutely blown away every time I turn this thing on. And that's my forever amplifier, guys. I'll never have to change this. Thanks for watching, you know, like and subscribe and we're getting closer to that thousand thousand uh, subscriber mark guys. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.